Let's see, time now is 9.28. Uh, we're on BBC One until 10 o'clock this morning. Matt Tebbett takes over in the Saturday kitchen. Morning, Matt. Good morning. How are you? Really well. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. It's quite hot in the studio, but we're, we're OK. Uh, question for you. Mm. Uh, have you ever worked with the other halves? Yes. yes. How is that? Does it work? It did. <laughs> Till what? Till we didn't. <laughs> Till the divorce. <laughs> oh, God, I shouldn't laugh at that, sorry. Um, OK, I'm glad I brought that up. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit later, because our special guest uh, has a link to one of our chefs. Uh, it's the incredibly talented Charlene Spiteri. Incredibly that, talented no, I'm Charlene I'm terrified. Spiteri. I am terrified. Why? <laughs> well, you know, it could, go, it could go either way, couldn't it? I don't know. What do you think, Bryn? <laughs> it could go either way. She's right, yeah. <laughs> You, you, you've kind of, uh, husband Bryn, you kind of got your, on, you got that defensive My thing My serious already. look, no. Yeah. Do you feel like you're on edge? Well, it's the first time we've ever done anything on TV together. Is so, it? Yeah. Is there time. anything I can do to make it worse? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> he so knows it is. <laughs> right, we'll be talking all about Texas, new album uh, in just a bit. For now, let's talk about Food Heaven, Food Hell. What's your idea of Food Heaven? My, my idea of food heaven is, oh, lots of things, like chicken and I, I like nice some stuff. I can't eat gluten because I've got celiac mm -hmm. disease. And, um, but potato scones would be my ultimate. Somebody just gave me a giant plate of potato scones. I would just okay. live on that. Charlene, that wasn't on my list. Yeah, I, <laughs> I know that's not on your list, but I did, I did say chicken to start. You did say chicken. I did say chicken. And spicy. Spicy. Indian food is my Indian ultimate. Indian food, thank you. Thank Indian you. food is my ultimate. Yeah, like lots of veg and stuff. See, I just thought I'm just going to make it as awkward as possible. So that, I know you're going to get me. I'm like terrified. Wow. Well, well, this is the interesting thing. And what about hell? Um, lambs, my idea of absolute hell. Lamb. I try and try. Yeah, and it's like a real big sore point within the family. Really? And I'm like, nah. It's all yeah. right. Keep it. <laughs> okay, well, we no. thought we'd uh, perpetuate that. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so we, so lamb. You're going to stir it up, aren't you? Yeah, of course. Cool. I know already that I'm going to get lamb. I'm literally, you're literally going to make me eat lamb, aren't you? Well, the fun thing is, if you do, it's one of Bryn's recipes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is it, is, it his, is it his lamb, shoulder of lamb recipe? Yes. I've cooked yes. it a lot. Yeah. I've cooked a dish, I've never eaten it. Well, you just don't eat it. <laughs> well, today... It just looks lovely. Everybody says it's great. Today you might. Right. Anyway, let's move on to the chefs. Nicholas Exeter, fresh from opening a restaurant last night. Yep. And they booked you on this morning. Yep. How was that? It was a tough one. Yeah? Yeah, my wife came home 2 a.m. from the pub as well, so woke oh, me up. Woke you up? <laughs> yeah. Really? Yeah. So you hate it when that happens. Oh, I haven't slept much. <laughs> but I'm fresh, I'm fresh. OK. I'm ready to go. I'm still on a little bit of adrenaline from last night, so right. I, I, can, I can push it. OK, yeah. good. I mean, that'll probably dip by about 10.30. <laughs> I hope not. I hope not. Uh, what have you got for us? Uh, I'm doing some Nordic ceviche and uh, with some lingonberries. And then I'm frying up some beef with some mushrooms, parsley, pickled onions. Nice. It's very Scandi. Very Scandi. Cool. Mm. Right. The man, he needs no introduction. But I'm going to introduce him anyway. Brim Williams. Thank you, Matt. Morning. How are you doing? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. good. You going to cook for us? I will cook, yeah, once you stop taking uh, <laughs> the mick. Yeah, so I'm going to do a honey roasted slow duck. So I'm going to roast the duck with honey and spices and soy sauce. Nice. Just for two hours, nice and slow. It's a bit Asian with a yeah. water cress, uh, well, watermelon salad, spring onions and radish. Very nice, very nice. Helen again, birthday girl. Happy oh. birthday, Helen. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, thank you very much. How are we? We'll see you at 10. Um, happy birthday, Helen. Matt, did you know, uh, Charlene, I'll tell you the trick to this, <laughs> having um, been a guest okay. on Matt's programme. Um, if, you're, if you come across as a lovely person, then you'll get your food heaven, OK? If you come across as perhaps a not-so-lovely person, you'll get your food hell. Um, did you give your daughter an extra Christmas present or did you stick to the fact that she asked for something oh, early and you said you weren't going to? It was her birthday. No, I stuck with it. I absolutely stuck with it. And she did come into the kitchen and kind of go, where's the present? And I was like, you had your birthday. So, yeah, I did it. Wow. Tough. That might come back and bite you. <laughs> <laughs> Enjoy I the lamb, Charlene. Like, no, no, it won't. It won't bite me. <laughs> <laughs> I hope. <laughs> That's a really interesting dynamic in the I studio know, it's there. It's going to be it? so much fun, isn't it? Good luck. Have a good one.